When talking about the nation's most influential journalists, the name Lasanta Vikramatunga would undoubtedly come to your mind. We all remember how the news of his assassination sent shockwaves not only across the country, but the whole world. Lasanta Vikramatunga was not just a journalist. He was a lawyer, a politician, a broadcaster, a human rights activist. Now, even 14 years after he left us, his legacy continues to live. Today, I am at the launch of his biography, Unbowed and Unafraid, authored by Rain Vikramatunga. Today, Lasanta Vikramatunga's legacy in writing will be released for Sri Lanka and the world to see. The launch of Unbowed and Unafraid, the biography of Lasanta Vikramatunga, by Rain Vikramatunga was held at Sri Lanka Foundation Institute earlier today. This publication recounts the life of Lasanta Vikramatunga, offering an inside look at his life and work. The book describes vital aspects of the late Lasanta Vikramatunga, including his journey in journalism and his family life. Family members, peers and colleagues of the late Lasanta Vikramatunga attended the launch. He said the Sunday leader stood for three things. Transparent to Sri Sri Lanka as a transparent, secular and liberal society. And he urges us, in his own words he says, think about these three words. But he focused his life on the first one mostly. Government must be openly accountable. And this is the absence of this accountability that has led us to where we are today. And today, what's the context in which we meet? A country that is made bankrupt. Of course, the president has come and said that, well, we got the IMF loan, we are not bankrupt anymore. As usual, he lives on another planet. So we don't have to take his word for it. It's not like tomorrow you walk and you go in and find that bread is down to 50 rupees and petrol is down to 250. We have a $75 billion debt to be paid. That's not been sorted out. That's the context. So what Lasanta spoke about and the urge, the importance of openly accountable has come home. We are facing the consequences of that. I hope that many everybody reads the book and finds inspiration to take, uh, not be just wait for change, but take it, uh, take change and move on, move on with change themselves, be the change. That's what I have been signing today, saying be the change, because that's what Lasanta was. He uh, was a trailblazer. He didn't wait for other people to do things. He wasn't a follower. He was a leader. So I think everybody should now uh, take charge of, uh, instead of complaining, be the change. What is sad is that uh, the investigations that have been done into Lasanta's murder is nearly concluded and it's a shame that there is no political will to see it through. And uh, in that sense, it is essential to keep his memory alive, lead into finding who the culprits were. He was a unique human being and his message is for all journalists. And some ask me what I would think if he was around today. And my thoughts were, perhaps if we were still around, we, it may have not led to this situation even. And uh, wherever he is, he must be feeling that if his words and the other journalists who laid their lives down will not be forgotten and their lives in vain. Lasanta Vikramatunga, who was renowned as a fearless journalist, was killed on the 8th of January 2009 after being shot by motorcycle gunmen.